All right, our question is, and we'll start with you, Marcellus, which dynasty is more unlikable, Warriors or Patriots? Patriots, Jeez. by far. Um, this is interesting. One, I mean, just before I even get into the Patriots, just I don't dislike anything about the Warriors. A great coach who's relatable. Uh, you got a great spiritual leader and, and Steph Curry and – Clay Thompson, I love because he's real about he's in them streets and he's <laughs> uh, like Draymond about that life. Uh, KD don't give a damn. Like I don't know what there is. And Mark Jackson out, <laughs> ran him out of the whole NBA. Well, league, that's, that's not that. Job. They didn't win a title, so that's stole not, Kevin Durant. What, what stole? stole, <laughs> Who stole Kevin Durant. You steal me for that much money? Steal me. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about this Patriots. The easy way out. <laughs> let's talk about all the gates and you know the, the deflate gates, spy gates, whatever. They burned the tapes. Damn it! Not only did they burn the tapes, but they destroyed the cell phone like hey like so as a competitor you always walk on the field thinking you're as talented than the Patriots or more talented right Rambassador you got and it. then you walk off the field getting beat once again and it makes you go back to those gates and that destroyed cell phone and then and them burnt tapes and it makes you side eye and say I don't want to call them cheaters I don't want to get fired like I work in the news department in Pittsburgh but I still am looking at them like I don't know if that team is really as good as advertised without a little help. So I think that they just set themselves up for that conversation because of that dynastic success that has come with some issues along the road. Mm. I agree with everything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> no. Surprise, surprise, everything. surprise. Man, first of all, I can't stand the Patriots. <laughs> Even going back to when they were sorry. Right. They were sorry I didn't like them. I didn't like them because, first of all, you go down to Boston, mm. Get all that racial stuff they come. Mm. Man, I mean, it was just horrible. I'm like, I can't stand this place. And then they start winning. Mm. I'm like, ah, they might have one or two in it. They, what they got? Six now? Six. Oh. The, the fans are so damn arrogant. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to even say, congratulations. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, for me, I like Mr. Kraft. I mean, I, I do. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, the oh, owner yeah. is, is one of the, the best guys. Love him. So I, I'm, I'm, ha I'm, that, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. that hook, line, and singer. No, Go ahead. Go I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm Columbia happy. Lion. You yeah. got to love him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care why he went to school. When you meet him, he's just cool. He's like one of us. You know, he <laughs> talk that same talk. He dressed cool. Like, all right, Mr. Crabbe. Tennis shoes with the suit on. Tennis shoes with the suit on. Yeah. And the young lady. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean, it's real talk. It's real talk. That's what makes him relax. But then you look at their fans and. You know, they just so arrogant about it. I'm like, look, if it was if it, if it was Green Bay, the Green Bay, I would say, the Packer fans, they cool. I like the way they when they, they carry themselves. Mm. I, I just, I, I can't stand them. I, I hate them more than they hate the Cowboys, I think. Mm. And I hate ah, the Cowboys. That's powerful. Both, <laughs> <laughs> both teams are hated, right? But the hate comes with success. You're never going to have, the, the more success you have, the more haters you're going to have, regardless in life, and we all understand this. Yeah. However, I think the Warriors are more hated because not only do they win championships, but then they just keep adding on more talent like that they don't even need at times to just be more dominant and to just look at you in your face like, yeah, we killing you. Like DeMarcus Cousins right now being healthy and getting busy with them is like the biggest like, yeah, we got more like, mm. and we could do this now. <laughs> not only did we, ha did we break the record for wins in the season and then we got the second best player in the game. Like, like, like we got him. Yeah. And then we go get the most dominant big man in the game, the most skilled big man in the game. <laughs> yeah, we got more. We got more firepower. What y'all going to do with us now? And that's, what, that's why people tend to not like them. They deserve everything they're getting, though. They deserve – because Bob Myers did an amazing job with that lineup. They've recruited people. They've made an um, environment conducive to people that want to be a part of that. And they're looking like, you know what? They're like they're having fun. They're like they like each other. They look like they're enjoying the game of basketball, and I want to be a part of that. So – and the Patriots as well. Like, they're both doing their job as an organization that people want to be a part, and people s see them as synonymous with winning. So, Except the Patriots don't look like they are enjoying Join the themselves. Obviously, that doesn't they enjoy this, they join this parade right now. Like, well, that's what it's man, about. Like, that's not the job. That's the reward from the job. Like, they're doing, they just have suppressed personalities. You, starts at the it's top. It's almost like robots. Yeah. You're having fun? Yeah. I like Tom. But, like, you got, uh, come yeah, on. I do I have like an Tom. opinion. I agree with yeah. Dante. Oh, look, come on. the Golden State Warriors are the Catholic private school in every city. It just, <laughs> they're good enough to win, but then they got to sneak into the hood. And I'm going to take you. <laughs> give you a scholarship. And bring, <laughs> give you a scholarship <laughs> and bring you out here. Raise your hand so if you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I can. So we can win the state championship. That, and, the, and they're very smug. I, I do want to say this in all seriousness and all respect. I think the Warriors 
and the Patriots, even though I think there's some differences, they have one commonality, man. They are all about the team. Right. They have a culture of team first and sharing first. And e even when it, Draymond and Kevin Durant have had their dispute or whatever, but they, they're working it out as best they can. Yeah. Both franchises put the team first. I respect that. I respect the Patriots a little bit more because they do it with less. They do it for the most part. Mm -hmm. Do they bring in a Randy Moss and some troubled kids that have been kicked out of their homes from time to time? Yes, they do. But they don't rely on them the way, again, I, I just, I'm just sorry. They had the, the Golden State Warriors lose to LeBron James. Daddy, let's go over into the inner city and get Kevin Durant because LeBron beat us up. <laughs> I just, I just don't find that likable. <laughs> uh, if, if, you, if, you ask, if you ask the fans, they take a fan survey, oh, fan survey, I think people say, oh, I hate the Patriots. I mean, everybody wants the, everybody want the Rams to win except Louisiana and... and, and I like Tom Brady. And man. L.A. And, and L.A. Mm, yeah. The ratings show that a lot of people are mad at the Patriots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's be careful about that. You know what's crazy about the Patriots? The, the, their culture. I, I caught something from Bill Belichick pregame in the Super Bowl in his interview. He said... How do you deal with the distractions? He said, I try to keep the social media and the music out of it. The music. Like, I've been on teams before where coaches like, hey, it's all them outside distractions. But the music has always been internal. Even if it's country day, rock day, rap day, like, we always kind of just rotated that. Belichick said the music. I think the music, he's like, I don't want anything to come in here to pierce this culture. That, to me, was telling. And they seem like they just have a less... When did he say this? Because, damn, we got to talk about it. Because that's fascinating. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was when did a, he say that? Uh, it was that round table. So it was Phil Sims, Belichick, and Coach Kyle. Pre-game. Pre-game. Pre -game. Okay. Pre yeah, yeah. Fa it was oh, next that, level. That's fascinating. I was like, again, music. <laughs> if you listen to the music and the values expressed in a yes. lot of music, yeah. that's not consistent with the values the Warriors and the Patriots use to win championships. Thank you, Kevin.